Tonight, a more in-depth look at how the winter storm is impacting marine life. Yesterday, we told you how the Division of Marine Fisheries closed spotted sea trout season as a result. Now, WNCT First Alert Meteorologist Pierce Legion investigates what this means to the fishing industry. Cold stunned fish continue to wash up on shorelines across the east. It's a problem that's gotten so bad that now the state is stepping in. A cold stun is just very simply um, when, a, when the water gets to a temperature that the fish just can't withstand anymore and they succumb to it. It's not an every year occurrence. We'll see this you know, every you know, five or six years or so. And this year's stunning cold has left one species of fish in deep trouble. For spotted sea trout, it's one of the main factors of natural mortality. Pictures of dead spotted sea trout continue to pour in from six bodies of water stretching from Surf City to Manio. For spotted sea trout, it's one of the main factors of natural mortality. We're not out of the woods yet. As far as what to do if you come across one? I suggest to let nature uh, take its course. Um, Certainly don't go out and you know, harvest any of these fish. But do report it to the Division of Marine Fisheries. Biologists will use these reports to get a more accurate idea of how much damage was done. They likely won't have any numbers until summer. Late last week, the state announced that spotted sea trout season would be shut down immediately. That shutdown remains in effect through June 15th. In Newburn, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.